Let me show you how to draw this spider's web. First, draw two perpendicular lines, one going vertically across the paper, the other horizontally. And then you want to draw an X where the next two lines that form the X are sort of centered on the first two lines. And those should also stretch across the paper. So I'm just testing it out with a smaller line before I make the full line to try to get it centered. And all of these initial guidelines I'm just making with pencil and later I'm going to go over the drawing with pen. And then we're going to make a bunch of curved lines going away from the center like this and just try to evenly space them out the best you can. You want them to curve about the same way as well, but they'll get larger as you go away from the center. And when you make the curves in the next section of the web, you want them to line up with the ones in the last section like this. They sort of form these little points and you just wanna go around the web making these curves, trying to space them out evenly. And I'm just trying to lightly sketch them because we're going to erase these guidelines later when we're going over it in pen. And just take your time with this. You might have to erase a line and adjust it slightly. I sped up the footage at points in this video and it takes a bit of time to just draw all these lines going all the way around the web. So you can see there I had to make a slight adjustment. Although I also think at a certain point you could just be adjusting these lines forever and at a certain point you just have to be satisfied with them. So again, I was using a pencil for those guidelines and now we're going to switch to a black pen. And I'm just going to slightly erase these guidelines and I'm not going directly over them with the pen. I'm making two lines, one to either side of the guidelines that we made in pencil and I'm curving them just a tiny bit when we get to the center of the web. So just for every spot that you have one line in pencil, draw two lines in pen, one to either side. And we're just going to go all the way around the web doing this, drawing two lines where there once was just one line. And just be aware of corners and where the different lines are supposed to connect so that they actually line up. Pen, you only really get one chance, unlike with the pencil. Although, to hide some mistakes and also because I thought it made the web look better, I started to do a bit of shadowing, just going back and forth along these lines and making some of them thicker to add a bit of a shadow and also cover up some mistakes. I'm going to finish up making the rest of the lines first and then I'll add more shadowing at the end. I really like the dimension that drawing the two lines next to each other gives to the web versus just drawing one line by itself. Since spider webs are often white, I think this gave the drawing a really good look compared to using a black pen and making solid lines. By the way, for returning viewers to my channel, if you're a little confused about why I uploaded an art video when I said I wasn't going to upload more art videos and that I had rebranded my channel, this video I actually filmed back in 2017, but I'm just uploading it now because I thought I lost the footage when my hard drive corrupted, but apparently I had backed up these files and I decided since Drawing a spider web is somewhat Halloween themed, this would be a good time of year to upload the video finally. So I'm not necessarily getting back into making how to draw videos as much as this one I had already filmed years ago and I thought it would be nice to still upload it. And when you get to the edge of the web, I just curved it around like this. And now I'll just erase the rest of the pencil marks, but we're not done yet. I'm going to go back and add more shading, which just further gave this drawing more of a three dimensional look. And then I used a pencil to add even more shadowing, just going over the little spots in between parts of the web very lightly with pencil. 
And I did that for the entire web. In retrospect, maybe I wouldn't have done the shading with the pencil, although it looks better on the closer shots than it did in the wide shot. But here is the final drawing. Feel free to check out my other Halloween art videos like how to draw a jack-o'-lantern or making paper bats. And if you want to get behind the scenes updates on my latest videos and the chance to get credited here, please become a patron on Patreon and that helps me to continue to make videos. I upload new videos every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for watching.